welcome. We are back once again for some gift warped. And we got uh, ridiculous amounts of randomness in here. Pants are quite literally the verge of being destroyed. But Vexen is leaving spoilers. Which now I can't avoid because it's there. He said that someone must have stole my lunch money about the light blue wool. I was going to go find it, Vex. You didn't need to spoil it bastard but uh yeah um well we gotta go to the school anyhow to get into the uh it's a word I'm looking for it I can't seem to place it nether wow come on now it's only been like four days since I've played minecraft the fact that I can't even remember that is just saddening must be the time of day it is 7.12 in the morning. However, I did not just wake up. I woke up like two and a half hours ago or so. So, I'm fairly decently awake. I am also my completely ridiculous random self. That is l at least my perception of myself. How you guys perceive me might be a completely different story. Why are things not where they should be? Um, I feel like I'm missing something off my bars. Meh. Oh well. Now, you know what? I am going to look for the, the, the light blue wool in the cafeteria area. If I can find it. Um, damn Bex in a spoiler. But, uh, anyhow... I need to figure out what I'm going to do about all the blazes down near the entrance to the nether portal. I might just have to destroy all of the walls to see if I can't find them and remove them. I'm pretty sure they're like all in the ceiling though. Just based on, on uh, how I had seen them spawning. So, I'm going to have to look into that. And then there's also the fact of I'm gonna need quite a few blocks in order to get through the uh, the nether because there seems to be a lot of ravines to the middle of nowhere and that's kind of annoying I should be enchanting any gear I'm wearing like that it's not enchanted however I uh, the long journey over to where I would need to go in order to get that is pretty far away. Also, not that anybody cares, but uh, I had played Ion before and I was I kind of stopped waiting for it to actually go truly free and for the population to pick back up. And I had forgotten about it. And then I had reinstalled Windows and didn't back up the ION uh, files. So yeah, I'm downloading that, and that's another reason why I'm doing this. But it also makes it for a really good time to do this, instead of later in the night going, crap, I need to record. So, I'm doing that. So this session might be a little bit longer than uh, normal ones. Normal ones, I've been trying to keep them around an hour or so. This one's probably gonna be around like an hour and 40 minutes, who knows? Um, in case you haven't noticed, I try to keep my episodes to, oops, running past it, trying to keep my episodes to about 20 minutes long via, you know, just cutting them and then 10 seconds of the previous episode placed on it, so that way I don't cut any of my text off. Um, I probably should have put, uh, some kind of an outro on it so you know when an episode is over, but I didn't make one. And it's a little bit too late to start caring about that. However, it does cause some abrupt endings that nobody's really saying anything about yet. But, yes, I'm taking, I'm running around the outside of the building to see if I can't see something that looks like a cafeteria. Um, what's this say? 500? No, I'm looking for the cafeteria. Is it the cafeteria? I'd have to say so. And it's not... Yeah, I didn't come in here. This isn't lit up. Wow. Wow. Fuck, it's 
milk, wheat, cookies. I'm going to leave them here as emergency rations. Whoa! Emergency rations. In case I should die and be in dire need of food. Of course, I could always go eat that cake in that house. But, Vex. Ooh. You cheeky git. Alrighty then. That probably didn't quite work out the way you had intended, but look, light blue wool. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna take it, and then I need to go find the computer lab, which I believe was... Yes, I just broke through glass panes with a diamond pick. Deal with it. But I think it was over here. So... I also think there's blaze spawners out here. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, there's one already. Okay, then. Down we go. Now, like I said, I'm probably going to have to go through the ceilings. See if I can't find these. Which is going to be a bit of a pain. But, it shouldn't be too bad, I hope. And it's going to be a pretty big waste of this diamond pick. But I'm hoping that I get more diamond in the nether. Um, full suit of diamond armor would be funny. It's all unnecessary, but funny. Hmm. So far, this isn't quite going the way that I originally intended. I was hoping you know I'd find, like, four spawners by now or something. Oh. Uh-oh. No. Leave me alone. Oh, I missed. Saw another one. You know, I already got the gold. I'm just going to bail straight through this place. Into the nether. Shoot at me, please. Oh, come on. Fine. Here we go. And, oh, so close. Did you just die already? There we go. Now. I need to figure out where exactly in this place I am located. And not jump to my death anywhere either. So. Yeah, I hear you. What? There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Now. I wonder if there's going to be like a nether alleyway, highway thing. That's a different building. Uh oh. They're spinning. It's a bit worrying. There we go. Ooh, I should probably get rid of these two. so I can moderately safely... I don't know where they're located. I'm guessing... Oh, there's one. Oh, I didn't get it, though. Oh. Fire at me again. Straight at me. Oh, come on. Fine. I'm trying to not have to do this, but whatever. I'll 
Oh, that's bad. Move away from those. Just got messaged on Steam. Yay, one down. And this is going to be getting longer and longer for everything to take, but to be honest, look at it the way I do. We're probably on the final walls of the map. It's going to be designed to get a little bit harder. Preferably a lot of bit harder. It's not exactly the hardest thing ever so far. So. You know, once upon a time the gas's hitbox used to be its legs, tentacle things. When that was the case, it was actually predictable where I'd have to shoot. Oop. Don't need the torches, thank you very much. Take you out before you get to be too annoying. Sidestep that. Whoa. Whew. That was a bit scary. Not the ghasts, the hole that actually would have been fairly safe to drop down, but I was trying to avoid because I can't trust anything. But, uh, yeah. I actually did look at the clock today, surprisingly, I know. So always say I didn't. I have no idea when I started, but I know today. I also know that that is very, very unsafe looking. These gas spawners are getting, uh, going to get on my nerves. Have I ever mentioned how much I, whoa, like nether brick? Nether brick is some cool stuff. But, uh, yeah, not really a whole lot to talk about at the moment. Nobody's really seemed uh, fit to tell me on what they want to see me play through next once I uh, finish these things. It's kind of thinking of... I don't even know what I was thinking of, to be honest. I don't think I was actually thinking of anything. Uh, oh, right. Now I remember. I was thinking of something. Um, the mod used by Good and Co. So I'm going to... Not co-star, but just, like, Good and Company. Um, the, uh, to make their Ultra Hardcore series. I was actually thinking of doing one myself, like an Ultra Hardcore Let's Play. So, this is going to get very annoying very quickly. Goodbye, Mr. Pigman. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I thought that would be fun because it's not quite, you know, anything normal, I guess you could say. It's not just a standard let's play. Ugh, being called on Steam. God damn it! Remind me to stop Steam from now on. Why did he die instantly? Okay, well, apparently Steam calls don't go on for very long, or he quickly cancelled it whenever I didn't accept it or what. I don't know what's going on with that, but, uh, yeah. Is this the hospital? Hmm, zombie spawner. Um, I forget if 
there is a wall in the hospital. I don't really need to light this up because everything will be done with spawners. If there's zombies or skeletons or whatever in, in here, they won't just spawn because it's dark. I really should be checking all these corners. I'm guessing all the zombies are upstairs. I don't remember if there was a wool in the hospital before, but... I'm more interested in actually looking around everywhere and then coming back to these places later if I have to. Ooh, what's that building? Okay, yeah, there's fake burger. There's another hole. I might actually, like, go down and gather a bunch of that stone. That is if it's not just all silverfish blocks. Silverfish block seems like something Vex would do. But, I don't know. Oh, what was... What? What? Welcome to Fake Burger. How can I help you? Ooh, there's actually lighting in here. The question is, why didn't... I'm guessing... God damn it. Okay. Um... Maybe if I ignore him, he will go away. <laughs> No. Don't eat any of that. See, I have a very poor memory and I don't remember what was in most of these things because, well, it's one of the downsides to doing the- God damn it! Okay. I tell you what I'm gonna do. Wasn't there an enchanting table in the original one of this? there was but there's not in this one so whatever why are you doing this to me Vex okay okay but future reference, I think I'm just going to close Steam. Normally, you know, I'm not being assaulted by messages on it, but, okay, there we go, easy entrance, dressing rooms, what's that building all about? See, this is another thing about having a poor memory. I can't remember where I have and haven't been. This is the fire department. Not much is obvious. This is the police department where I found my flak vest. So of course I have to have a look around in here. Although I'm guessing a majority of things have been stripped out. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing here. I did find at least one wool in these housing areas here. I'm trying to remember where it was. I believe it was in the one that actually, like the house that actually had a name. Um, I don't remember whose house it was, but... When I find it, I'll have found it. And uh, here's the whole footlocker approach that Vex was talking about. Um, that's if anybody doesn't read the comments. He was saying how there was beds there, but he took them out, and those were supposed to be footlockers. So there's the beds. There's proof that he wasn't lying to me. And. 